Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Britton and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this eye look using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood Eyeshadow Palette. I have always been obsessed with Jeffree Star and his unique style and then when he came out with his cosmetics line, I was obsessed with it. Of course, the liquid lipsticks are where it's at. I'm wearing one today, Celebrity Skin. Once he started creating eyeshadow palettes and Branching out from there, I've just been even more obsessed. It would literally be a dream come true to be reposted by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. As you see, I definitely did a blue look, and that is because the Blue Blood Palette is a blue palette. <laughs> it's gorgeous, and the color story is gorgeous. So, if you are interested in seeing how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I've already started out by putting my hair back as well as doing my brows since today's video is just going to be focused on the eyeshadow look so I didn't want to do too long of a video which I have been lately. So again today we're just going to be focusing on the eye look and I can always do more tutorials on my brows or complexion or anything like that. But let's get into the video. So first things first, I'm always going to be starting out with any eye look priming it with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I just love using this because it's going to keep the shadows pigment all throughout the day and it's going to hold on to it nicely. I don't have to deal with creasing or anything like that. So it's just a good like nice base color too. It's not too pink. I mean it's more pinker toned but it's not super pink or too yellow. Let's go ahead and prime the eyes. And I'm just taking this Wet n Wild brush that I got from the dollar store. It's just one of the concealer brushes. I just used this one specifically for my paint pot and I'm just going to go ahead and do that on our eyelids and as you saw from the title of the video today we are going to be playing with the new Jeffree Star blue blood palette I am obsessed there has not been a palette like this on the market ever I want to say the shade range is just amazing and again there is like no palette right now on the market and Jeffree Star did that <laughs> like honestly these Shades are beautiful and so unique. I also do have the Blood Sugar Palette, so if you guys were interested in me doing a look with that one, I definitely want to, but today we are gonna focus on the blues. So these are actually one of my favorite brushes that come in the Anastasia palettes, and I'm just taking this fluffy side right here. I just think it blends the shades out, any palette that you're using so beautifully, so that's why I always hang on to these guys, because they are just so nice and so fluffy and blend everything so beautifully. Going into this shade right here which is I'm cold and we're just going to be putting that all over the crease this is just going to start off as our transition shade so I really just want to get that color on there just so this will be a good blending shade just once we add everything on so I know I look crazy now but as you can see the pigment is just so gorgeous on the palette don't have any fallout, which you usually would expect for shades like these, but honestly, looking good. <laughs> I am then going to be going in with Blue Blood right here, and we're just going to go ahead and same thing, put it on the crease, but not go as high up, just because again, we want a good transition, where it looks has that nice blended effect, instead of it just being muddy looking all over the lid. Then I'm just going to go back into I'm Cold Again, that lighter shade, and just kind of go over what we've done so far. Because again, I just really want to keep that transition, and I don't want it to become muddy. So then with two smaller shader brushes, I have the e.l.f. one, which is same thing, just that fluffy one. Just a little more smaller um, and condensed. And then I also have the Glamour Dolls. Again, this is just another fluffier one not as big as the Anastasia one. I'm now going to take Blue Monday, which is this shade right here. And this is the part where it gets very tricky for me with just blending everything out. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on that smaller shader brush. And then just right where my crease starts, I'm just gonna go back and forth. So see, I'm just kind of like packing it on, and then from there, I'm just taking this and kind of branching it up with the excess 
um, with the excess product and see how they're just nicely blending together and that's what we want. We want them to be holding hands and nice and blended, not just rough and patchy looking. I think a really big part of these looks being so well blended is honestly just take just taking your time. And if you really want those colorful looks, just building them up as you go and going from there instead of just putting a bunch of color in it, just not looking and blending in as nicely as you wanted. That literally probably took me like 15 minutes for both eyes, but as you can see, it just looks blended. Take your time and you will get it. Then we're going to be going into Undertaker right here. And with that same brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit. And just swipe back and forth with it right above my crease. Branch a little bit out, but not too far. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey and then just a flat brush just because I want to be able to carve that out and we're just going to go ahead and carve a halo. And carve that in the middle. Now you can see we just created that negative space where you can see I cut the crease in the middle and then kind of created a gradient with it. We're going to be going back in with the shades that we used in the crease and we're just going to go ahead and make it look more put together. So first, I'm not gonna be going in back to the lightest shade, I'm just gonna be going back into Blue Blood right here. We're just gonna be taking that on the fluffy brush. I just went ahead and like wiped out my hand like the darker shade that we used. And we're just gonna go ahead and place it. And we will be going back in to Blue Monday, again, the shade that we have been using in our crease. And placing that over where we just put blue blood. And then I like to kind of wipe them back and forth, lightly obviously, because we don't want to wipe off the product. This is just going to make them look a lot more blended. And then I take it up a little bit over the crease. Then I'm going to be taking that Anastasia brush that we used in the beginning and I'm actually going to be using the other side which is more of that smaller denser side. We're going to be going back into Undertaker, that darker shade that we used, and dab a little bit and we're just going to focus it on that outer part. We're not going to go as depth, we're not going to go as in as we did with the other shades. And then using that fluffy side, we're just going to blend all the shades together. So now for the fun part, the middle of the halo. I'm just going to be going in with this eyeshadow brush. It's just from Bella Pierre. Then I'm going to be wetting it and spraying MAC Prep and Prime. This is the, it's not the original one. This is the coconut scented one, which is so perfect for summer. And we're just going to go ahead and take this. Just going to go ahead and give it a couple sprays because we really want that shimmer to show up. And I just kind of dab it onto my hand just so it's not a bunch of excess, but it's still damp. We are then going to be going into Ocean Eye. It just picks up a lot more of the pigment. And we're just going to be laying that down over the areas we haven't put the other shades. I then I'm just going to go back into that brush we were just using and spray it one or two more times. Oh my god, that smells so good. The coconut. <laughs> going into ice tray, I'm just going to be taking that and just putting it at the top. Actually gonna go ahead and go do my complexion really quick so then I'll be right back and then we'll go ahead and finish up this look. Alrighty guys, so I am back, complexion is done, and what better way to add to this look than doing Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick and celebrity skin on my lips. 
So that's what I have on my lips, just in case anyone was wondering. So we're just going to go ahead and finish up that lower lash line. So we're just going to be going back into the palette. I'm just going to be going back into I'm Cold, which is that lighter shade right there. And just sweeping it on my lower lash line. I'm going to take it a little bit down just because I want that more smokier effect than just the than just, just like just the color underneath my lash line. And then with that same brush, I'm going to be going into Blue Blood again. Again, you guys get the gist of this. Just everything that we did, we're going to be doing it underneath just because again, we want that gradual look and we want it to look smoky. Going back in with the flatter end of the Anastasia brush and then going in to Blue Monday. We're just going to be shaking that. And lastly, one more time going into the darker shade Undertaker and really just focusing that on the outer corner of our lower lash line. We're not going to be taking it too far. We just want to be able to connect it. To where we have the darker on the top and then just going to be taking a brush like this you can honestly just go in with any flat brush and then wetting it with our fix plus again <sighs> seriously if you guys do not have the coconut one you need to get it i don't know if it's still available or not but go get it if it is we're going to be taking colon in this shade right here you're going to be putting that on our inner corner as well as on our brow bone and why we wet it is because we really want that shade just to really show then I'm just gonna be going in with some mascara for my lashes I'm just using the Marc Jacobs velvet noir mascara you can go in with any mascara add a little something something to the bottom lashes just because I have literally no lashes so this just really gives me those lashes so I'm just gonna go in with that and for lashes today guys I'm going to be going in with the doll's eye volume lashes I actually found this account on Instagram and I'm absolutely obsessed with their lashes. My absolute favorite style is Radiant and if you guys end up loving these lashes because these are just like perfect for any look honestly for going dramatic or if you just really want beautiful fluffy lashes that look like mink lashes and are affordable still. These are amazing and actually I have a code by Britain which you can use to save I believe it's 10% off if not 10% off any money off is a good offer obviously but I will definitely link their account down below but again as you can just see first off the packaging is so cute it's just like a little container like that and then you guys can see these lashes have been put to use but these are just so fluffy and beautiful and you'll see in a second like they just make any look look amazing so definitely need to buy a new pair of these because they're, they're a little busted looking. <laughs> you can see they just make such a difference and they really add to the look, which is like why I'm obsessed with these. So again, these are the style Radiant from Doll's Eye Volume Lashes. And if you're obsessed with them, use By Britain to save you some coin on them. So this is the finished look using the Blue Blood Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And you guys probably already know my feelings towards this palette. I am obsessed with it. These colors and like the payoff that you get from these colors and how beautiful these colors are, are amazing. I love the color story. So everything about this palette is amazing. As you probably saw from me doing this look, no fallout. Like I literally had no fallout, which I'm obsessed with. And again, like this is just such a unique palette and I feel like any makeup artist or anyone that loves doing colorful looks definitely needs this palette in their life. <laughs> I also own the Sister Palette 2 Blue Blood, which is Blood Sugar, so if you guys ever also wanted a look with this palette, I would love to. As you can see, this is the red palette compared to Blue Blood, which is Blues. So, again, both color stories are really cool, so if you want to see a look of me doing reds from this palette definitely let me know down below sound off and comment and i will definitely do a look with that this is just the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it was just it was really fun to sit down and do a colorful look with you guys and i'll definitely try and do more in the future or if you ever wanted me to focus on complexion brows anything like that just let me know but here's just a close-up just so you guys can see 
And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead and like this video as well as please subscribe to my channel. I also have other social media platforms, Instagram, which is at by Britain. I have Twitter at by Britain one. I also have Facebook, which is just Britain Smets, which is my name for YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.